Okay, so I'm back again with another one and we finna talk about forgiveness and the people that you hang around, okay? So why is it important to forgive? You don't forgive somebody who um, did you wrong for them. You're really doing it for you. It's major, it's a very important key to forgive because you are hurting your soul when you do not forgive. You are hurting your soul when you continuously move with those ill intentions and regrets towards somebody else because you are then moving according to your own will and moving according to our own will instead of seeking forgiveness and, and healing. It just does nothing but ends up leading to us taking matters into our own hands and wanting to seek revenge for ourselves, which is not good, okay? Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, okay? So it's always easier to, when you are being wronged and when you have been wronged, to just take it to God. Because when you take it to God, he will He will coach you through every stage of the grieving process, okay? He will coach you through every stage of it. And he will also continuously remind you that he is with you in the process he feels exactly what you feel he understands exactly why you feel the way that you do however he is going to encourage you he is going to lift you up and he is going to let you know do not take matters into your own hands because i am an all-powerful god i am an all-knowing god and because i am an all-powerful and an all-knowing god i will be able to handle them better than you will be able to handle them see when you handle stuff and you take stuff into your own hands and use it in your own way you are then not only hurting that person in your own eyes but you are also hurting yourself because now you have to live with the guilt and the shame that is going to come from what you put on somebody else okay my god that was a mouthful whereas if you take it to god and explain to god that you're hurting explain to god the pain that you are feeling explain to god why you feel the way you feel god will then be able to understand you more on a deeper level he will then understand and be able to shift your heart and change your heart posture in that situation and towards that person because he will then Im Im embed in you that it was not that person see us as human beings we look at the person we don't look at it as a spiritual battle that we are fighting we look Look at it as the person when really it is the spirit my god when really it is the spirit that is inside of that person okay it is the spirit inside of that person it is the enemy the enemy who who wants to remain unseen and because he wants to remain unseen he's going to use people who are connected to you he's going to use people who are close to you he's going to use people who you wake up with and speak to every single day because the real enemy wants to remain unseen, but he wants everybody else who you are around to seem bad in your eyes. My God. My God. So it's always better to just forgive and allow God to handle it. Because God, he knows each and every single person's heart. He knows their heart posture. He knows what's on their mind. He knows what goes through their thoughts. He knows whether something was an accident or whether it was done intentionally. He knows if it's going to continue to happen or if this was just a one time thing. God knows. God knows. And because God knows, you have to trust God. Okay, my God, you got to forgive so that you can free yourself. Don't allow Satan to hold you in the bondage of unforgiveness because you're doing nothing but hurting yourself while Satan is sitting back laughing and God is sitting back wanting you to just release everything to him so he can heal you the proper way. My God. My God. Now, let's talk about the people we hang around. Who we hang around shapes our character, okay? Who we hang around shapes our character. If you want to grow in life, you have to start by checking your circle because eventually as you continuously start growing, you will eventually outgrow some of the people that you are hanging around with, which is fine because you have to scope out your circle so that you're able to move accordingly with each and every single person individually in your life. That is perfectly fine. Now, if you want to grow your business, if you want to grow your character, if you want to grow yourself as a human being, you have to be able to sniff out the people who are going to hold you down, the people who do not 
not want you to grow. The people who were only there because they felt superior on top of you, my God. The people who are only in your circle because they feel that because you are not going anywhere in life, they will always be on top of you. Okay, you have to know who is in your circle is trying to keep you down, who in your circle is rooting for you to level up and who in your circle is wavering on both sides. Jesus had 12 disciples, but only three of him went to the top two, three of them. He trusted enough to take with him to the top of the mountain. Everybody in your circle is not going to understand the level that you are going to go to. Everybody in your circle does not want you to get to the level that you want to get to. You have to evaluate who you hang around because if you want to elevate, you cannot hang around with a circle and a group of friends who are constantly gossiping. You have to find you a group of friends who are always talking good. Put yourself in places and situations with people who are higher than you because the people who are higher than you are going to pull you up to their level. Okay, okay. The people who do not want you to elevate are gonna do nothing but continuously try to pull you down to keep you on the level that they are on. They don't wanna see you do better than them. Some people around you do not want to see you do better than them. It's sad, but it's the truth. But that's up to you to move accordingly to the people that you are hanging around, okay? My God. You gotta know when to fold them. And you got to know when to pack them. Okay. Okay. You got to know when to fold them. And you got to know when to pack them. You got to know when to fold that friendship and say, okay, I'm going to put this to the side. And you got to know when to pack up that friendship and just get rid of it. You got to know when to fold them. And you got to know when to pack them. Because everybody in your circle is not meant for you. Everybody in your circle is not a destiny seer. Everybody in your circle does not want you to do good in your life. Everybody in your circle does not want you to be who God has called you to be. And that's not for you to get upset with them about. That's not your business. Your business is to stay your course, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and continue being obedient and moving according to the will that he has for your life. That's your business. So what you're going to lose a couple friends along the way. That's good. Because if you lost them, that means they wasn't meant for you to go to the next level anyway. See, God knows something that you do not. God sees things that you cannot. God hears things that you cannot. And you have to trust that. You have to trust that because that friend is not here anymore. God removed them out of my life for a reason. Some people are meant to be in your life for a season. Some people are meant to be in your life for a lifetime. You have to know when to fold them and when to pack them, baby. Okay. Bad company corrupts good character. <laughs> and a bad character corrupts good judgment. Okay. There we go. There we go. Because bad company corrupts good character. You cannot want to elevate in your life, but consistently hanging around your group of friends who are always stealing, who are always plotting against other people, who are always bashing other people. That is not how you grow. And I don't care what you say. You can think you're over them and you are stronger than that. Eventually, because you are in that type of environment, they will pull you and draw you back into doing what you used to do just like them. And then all that work you did to elevate went to waste. Because you just threw it away. No, 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 no. You got to know when to pack them and you got to know when to fold them. Okay.